Next up is going to be Angela. Angela, let me know if you want to pull up your own PowerPoint or if you would yeah. like me to do that. You want to do it? Okay. Perfect. Okay. Someone just asked about lunch. Yeah, lunch, I think we're going to have around 1230 ish. Yeah, should I start? All right. Are you ready, Angela? Go. Yeah. Angela, we can't hear anything, and I think there's supposed to be sound. Okay. Yeah, you need to be unmuted. <laughs> Why did I choose bird remedies? In many ways, I believe birds to be like humans. They have been around for millions of years. They are also considered to be a diverse species that has been placed into categories based on their common characteristics and features. Birds also enjoy one of the most phenomenal examples of survival and adaption outside of the animal kingdom. Different birds represent different things in different cultures around the world. In Hinduism, people believe that some birds are holy and symbolize truthfulness and purity. In Asia, birds are seen as messengers from the spirit world and a reminder of our ancestors. In Christianity, birds carry symbolism and meaning that can also be traced back to the Bible. Birds have served as symbols of good luck, good health, wealth, fertility, love, and truthfulness. To me personally, they represent freedom. Now let us discuss a few of the birds used as birds remedies to gain a better understanding of our Avis friends. Columbus, Balumba. Pigeons are symbolic of fertility and prosperity, fortune, luck and transformation. Pigeons live in flocks. Each flock has an equal number of male and female members. A courting male pursues his intended mate on the ground, circling her with his neck feathers inflated and his tail spread, bowing and cooing all the while. Pigeons mate for life, but if one partner dies, the survivor generally will attempt to find another mate. The studies show that a pigeon's degree of leadership could be predicted by its speed in earlier flights. When pigeons fly in flocks, each bird falls behind another with better navigational skills, and the savviest among them lead the flock. There is flexibility in leadership, and this has only ever been seen in some small groups of fish. While flocks have hierarchies, they are not dictatorships. Pigeons know each other. They know which is the smartest. The fastest bird will even follow the slower one who knows the way home the best. Pigeons are monogamous. Pigeons are attracted to cities because of the abundance of ledges and cliff-like nesting sites and buildings. Columbus Palumba as a homeopathic remedy. There's history of abuse. They feel that they deserve the abuse. There's a feeling of inferiority. They are sensitive and sees the world as a harsh place. Great suppression and feeling of guilt and shame. They are greatly concerned about what people will think. They fear violence, grief, and sadness. A defense mechanism is to make themselves small and ugly. They look peaceful, but they have a lot of restlessness, anger, and mood swings. Their suppressed aggression gets internalized and turned into, into deep anger and self-harm. Pigeons are not kind to each other. They feel worse after sex. They dislike meat. Dry cough and burning tongue are some of the physical symptoms, a tingling all over the body feeling, tension in the neck and jaw. They experience sharp shooting pains. They have hearing problems lack discipline as they keep going back to the family after being abused. There is a desire for chocolate and sugar in tea. The second bird remedy is also known as the red-tailed hawk. The average lifespan in the wild is 21 years. The eyesight of a hawk is eight times as powerful as a human's. Like all hawks, the red-tailed hawk's talon are its main weapon. The largest percentage of the red-tailed hawk's diet is composed of small rodents, not a bird of the deep woods. It's usually found in grasslands or marsh shrub habitats. It's also found in urban areas. 
both members built the nest or simply refurbished one of the nests they are used in previous years. Their feet are equipped with sharp curved talons for capturing prey and their strong beaks are hooked for biting and tearing flesh. Swift flyers, some hawks can attain speeds over 150 miles per hour when diving. Red-tailed pairs are very territorial and will remain together for years in the same territory. They are solitary birds, living with a mate during the spring with otherwise surviving alone, except the birds that fly to warmer climates in the winter when they create large flocks during the migration. Mated pairs are monogamous and usually stay together for life. If something happens to one of the pair, the surviving member will usually find another mate. Hawks are unusual among birds in that the female is generally larger than her mate. The red hawk has a homeopathic remedy. These people have strong sense of responsibility to the family. She spends most of her day hunting food for the younger ones. They do, however, desire freedom and being carefree but they're unable to act on that because of the strong sense of responsibility they feel. There is a desire for understanding from their mate. Family pressures lead to resentment of their partner who does not share the same responsibility. They can feel neglected and abandoned. They desire solitude as they can be oversensitive to other people's energy. They can be very irritable, one day on and one day off. They can feel hopeless. There is a connection with the divine which gives them calmness and peace. They follow their instinct rather than analytical behavior. They can become very disorganized and not recognize familiar streets, especially when it's dark. There is a feeling of grandeur, spending and squandering money. They pay attention to personal hygiene, cleaning and washing, especially to the toenails and fingernails. <laughs> When they enter a hunting dive called a stoop, they can reach up to 200, 240 miles per hour. This makes them one of the fastest animals on the planet. Like most birds of prey, female falcons are slightly larger than the males. Both parents incubate the eggs and care for the young. Females generally incubate the eggs for greater proportions of the time than the males do. They prey most exclusively on birds, which makes up 80% of the prey items. The most important set of prey by biomass is the pigeon. Though most falcons do not live to be a year old, a healthy falcon who survives lives an average of 13 years. Falcons most frequently hunt from a perch with a high vantage point, such as a cliff or tall tree. Like other birds of prey, they are considered to be near the top of the food chain that are not completely free from predators. Falco peregrinus as a homeopathic remedy. These people have a powerful will which is strong, intense, and direct. Pride, humiliation, and domination are prominent. Resistance to domination by another. They have a strong characteristic of protecting children. They are free and fast hunters with symptoms like diving fast and reckless driving. There's a strong anger which stems from restraint. There's a coldness and a lack of feeling with the anger. The theme here is childhood abuse and abandonment. The desire for freedom is due to the restriction they feel. The opinion of others matter to them more and they will actually sacrifice their freedom for acceptance. They see the whole picture. They can be childish and carefree, loves the sensation of flying and floating, physical coldness in all parts, which alternates with flashes of heat. They have nervous system issues, can have addictive personalities, and there's often a strong desire for alcohol. Also known as the bald eagle, a domineering, strong-willed, independent, vocal, competitive, and shrewd. They possess sharp, pointed beaks designed for ripping and tearing prey into bite-sized pieces. Their powerful legs and feet that are equipped with large talons used for killing the prey. An eagle never eats dead meat. In other words, an eagle doesn't scavenge. It only eats meat from the prey it kills itself. Eagles are full of life and are visionary, but they find time to look back at their life and re-energize themselves. This happens at about age 30. When other birds fly away from the storm with fear, an eagle spreads its mighty wings and uses the current to soar to greater heights. The eagle takes advantage of the very storm that lets the birds fear and head for cover. As a homeopathic remedy, 
These people are the most sensitive out of all the bird remedies. They exist in parallel worlds. They have a strong desire for a mate and dreams of sexual arousal. They are oversensitive to external impressions, odor, smell, touch, sudden noise. There is a strong fear of death, cancer, and rape. They have deep, lasting anger, and they will hold a grudge. They feel ugly and overweight. They are very sensitive. They need several things going at the same time to prevent them from getting bored. Their emotional breakdowns manifest physically. That was great, Angela. Thank you so much. Um, does anyone have any questions for Angela about her presentation? I'm curious where you got all the videos. It was awesome. It's all in the, um, from where I live, in the marina. Mm -hmm. so you took those videos? Yeah. Well, I had some assistance. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> but they're amazing. I felt like I just took a little vacation. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Now the little bird, it looked like it was in your home. Did you rescue that bird? Uh, actually, my, um, my boyfriend gets to pet it um, for a sparrow. Um, so this kind of, a, yeah, I normally would stay for a week at a time. So that's all the footage from the sparrow when he visited. Wow, that's really wonderful. Thank you. Well done. Yeah, I recognized a lot of the, uh, the marina there and all the birds. There's so many different types of birds in the marina. Um, that's really great. Congratulations. Um, let's applaud and give some love to Angela. Awesome job, Angela. Hey, Angela. Well done. That's really fantastic.